In this video, we're going to look at the bin packing algorithm. The algorithm allows us to deal with problems such as minimizing waste or maximizing space. Typical examples that you might see in your textbook are cutting smaller pieces of pipe from a larger one or fitting cars on a ferry deck. We're going to work through some of the key features of the algorithm and look at a basic example of where we can implement the algorithm in different forms. So let's start off with what we call the lower bound. We're given this question right here. We're told Bob is an electrician. He buys wire in 30 centimetre strips. He needs to cut strips of the following lengths, and these are given in centimetres, so 18, 2, 5, and so on and so forth. We're asked to find the lower bound of strips he needs to buy. So, this is his best case scenario. If he goes into the hardware shop or the electrician shop, he wants to buy as few as possible. If I lined all of these up now, what we're looking at is the length, and we want to get away with as few of these strips as possible. And the way we do this is to simply add up the lengths and divide it by 30. So 18 plus 2, 20, 25, 32, uh, sorry, 35, 42, 50, 61, 76, 97, 119. So in his ideal world, he's got 119 centimetres and he needs to divide that into 30 centimetre strips. So what's that going to give us? 3.97, something along those lines. Let's have a look. Let's just check that. So 119 divided by 30, and that's going to give us about 3.97. So approximately 3.97. Therefore, the best case scenario or the lower bound to satisfy this to ensure that he has enough to cut all of these is going to be 4. We will see often these problems can't be done in the lower bound, and we might need five, we might need six, but this is the best case scenario. So if we can cut it perfectly, we would need at least four of these strips. So there we go, that would be typical of what you'd be asked to do in an exam. You would be asked to find the lower bound, you would simply divide the total length by the 30, and then round up to the nearest integer. So that's the lower bound of strips he needs to buy. What we're now going to do is look at implementing the algorithm. And the first one we're going to look at is called the first fit. So exactly the same question. We're asked to use a first fit bin packing algorithm to find A, the number of strips used, B, the total waste. With the first fit algorithm, we simply take the list in the order that we're given and we see the first bin the number fits into. So this is going to be bin 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I might need 6. I'm going to do 5 here. If we consider now that these have essentially a height of 30. So this height right here is 30. So if you want to see these as strips of wire, this is what we're cutting off. We simply go down the list and the first bin that it can go in will place it in there. So 18 can be cut from the first strip or 18 can be put in the first bin. I've now got two. I can still cut two. That takes me to 20 centimetres cut or 20 units in the bin. I got five. Five will still go in here. So five can go in the first bin. So the first fit means it's the first bin it can go into. Now comes a problem. And I'm just going to write a running total down here. So far, I've got a total of 25 in there. If I try and fit 10 in here, it won't fit. Or, if you want to look at it in the context of a question, if I've already cut 25 centimetres from a 30 centimetre strip, I can't cut another 10. Therefore, I need to go to the second bin or the second strip. And that's where the 10 comes in. So, 18, 2 and 5 have gone in the first bin. And now we go to 10. OK, that's not to say that we can't go back to this one. It's just 10 will fit now in the second bin. 7. Will 7 go in here? We can't put it in here because that will take me to 32. So we go to the second bin and 7 is going in. So 7 is now in. I now look again with 8. Can I put that in the first bin? Quite clearly no. That will take me to 33. Can I put it in this one? Yes, I can. And I'll put the 8 in there and that's going to take me to 25. OK, the 11. The 11 has to go in one of these bins. It can't go in the first one. It can't go in the second. Therefore, we'll go from there. Or, if you like, if you've cut 25 centimetres from each strip, you can't go ahead and cut another 11. It doesn't exist. So, 11. 15. Now, 15 is not going to go in the first, it's not going to go in the second, but it will now go in the third. And that will give me 26. 
So I'm just giving myself in pencil underneath, just running totals, just to keep my mind uh, sure that these are going in the correct bin. Okay, 21, not gonna go in there, not gonna go in there, not gonna go in there, so I now have to break into my fourth strip of wire. So 21 goes there. Now, I've got 22. So if I've done this in the order, so say this was a, a job um, order and it said first job needs 18, second job needs two, and I didn't look ahead, I'm now going to have to go and buy a fifth strip of this. So that one now, 21 is in here, and we're going to have 22 in here. So I've now had to buy one more than the lower bound. I didn't want to do that, because if these are one quid each, let's say they're a quid each, it looks like I can get away with four, but I've had to go and buy a fifth. The first fit is generally the poorest uh, option to find what we call an optimal solution. The optimal solution is never going to be better than four, but I think we can get it to be better than five. So, total number of strips used, we've ended up with five. The total waste, well, five centimetres, five centimetres, four centimetres, nine centimetres, and eight centimetres. 17, 21, 31. Total waste is 31 centimetres. Now this suggests being over 30 centimetres that I can actually do this problem. It only suggests it, but it looks like we can get it done in four. So this is what we call the first fit method or the first fit bin packing, pick, uh, bin packing, there we go, bin packing algorithm. Okay, so go along your list. If it fits in, put it in. If it doesn't, go into the next bin until all of the numbers have gone. Okay. We're now going to move on to what we call the first fit decreasing. So exactly the same question. We're asked to use the first fit decreasing bin packing algorithm to find A, the number of strips used, B, the total waste. With the first fit decreasing, we put them in descending order. So largest to smallest. So 22, 21, 18, 15. Let's check I've got all of these. What's the next one? 11, 10, 8, seven, five, and two. That looks pretty good. So this is now in descending order. This generally gives us a better chance of finding the optimal solution than the first fit method. So it's not, it's not saying that it's gonna find it, often it doesn't, but we're given a much better chance of finding it over the first fit method. So let's go ahead, bin one. So again, bin one, two, three, four and five. And remember, these are now 30 high. And you can see straight away why this one gives us an advantage. 22 in the first one, 21 in the second one. Now, 18 quite clearly can't go in this one, it can't go in this one, therefore it's going to go in the next one. 15 can't go in the first, it can't go in the second, it can't go in the third, so it now goes in the fourth. So, straight away, we've now gone out and bought our four. So we're already on the lower bound. What I'm hoping is that we don't go into the fifth. Therefore, the first bit decreasing would give us the better, or would give us the chance, or is going to find us now the optimal solution. It won't always, but it'll give you a better chance. So let's go for the 11. No, no, yes. So now that one is taking me up to 29. And I'm just going to put this in pencil as I'm working through. Okay. Let's now go for the 10, no, 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 yes. So now we're up to 25 on that one. Okay, now eight, that's gonna work out quite nice. Eight can go in this one. So that's gonna give us now a full bin. So that's now complete and closed off. If we now look at seven, well, seven isn't gonna go in here because we've already used all of that wire, but it can go in here. So let's put now the seven in here and that's taken me up to 28. So the seven's in. Again, five, so we go along the list, it's not going to go in there, it's not going to go in there, it's not going to go in there, but it does fit and it fits very nicely in there to now fill off that bin or that's all of the wire chopped off. Let's go for the two. Two, no, yes. So it will go in here and that will give us 30 and that's another full bin. So using the first bit decreasing method in this particular example is really, really good at getting us now what we want, which is the optimal solution. And the optimal solution is four strips and it is gonna give us absolutely no waste. I mean, when we say no waste, the waste is gonna be one centimeter, but that was, we didn't need that anyway as such. So total waste is gonna be one centimeter 
and total number of strips used or bins full or bins uh, used at least is going to be four. When it, I say bins full, not technically correct, they're simply the bins used or the strips used. So there we go, first fit decreasing, put them in descending order, carry out the algorithm again, first one that they go into and you will find that it gives us a better chance of finding that optimal solution. Okay, the, the final example we're going to do is called full bin. So we're asked to use a full bin method to show that Bob can cut all the required pieces of wire from the lower bound found earlier. Now we know that that was four. The last particular method we did was very nice and it actually found us that and it gave us a really, really good solution because we have three of them now that had 30 and one that had 29. This isn't always going to be the case. It's just worked out that that was very good. Often in an exam question, the first fit decreasing will give you a better um, solution, but it won't still find us the optimal solution. Full bin, yet again, gives us a better chance of finding it. So in order, we're going to have the first fit, first fit decreasing, and then full bins. Now, I'm going to kind of ignore what we did in the last one and just go ahead and solve this using the full bin method. We know that each of these bins can hold 30. What we're going to do is look at combinations of 30 to fill the bins. So let's pretend we didn't do the last question. A key thing here is not to go ahead. So for example here, if I looked at this one and used 7, 10, 8, and uh, 5 and 2 all in one, that wouldn't be ideal. What I'm going to look at now is using a large number with a small one or smaller one to give me multiples or, or uh, addition sums. That's what I'm looking for, sum of 30. So first bin, we're going to have now full bin. So 8 and 22. So we can say full bin. So that's our full bin. So that's one done. Let's have a look at another one. Let's go for the 21. And we saw this on the last one. So let's see what we can do. Can we do the 20? Uh, what are we going to have if I go for 21? 21, 7, and that will give us 28, 29. So there's another full bin, 21. And then we're going to have a 7, and we're going to have a 2, which gives us now a full bin. Okay, so full bin, these are just ending up being 30 each. So 30 in this one, 30 in this one. Let's go ahead and look for another one, and we can see it's going to be the 15, the 5, and the 10. And as stated, I'm kind of half remembering what I did before, but that will give us 30 as well. So 5, 10, and 15. Another full bin, so let's write that there. So full bin, and that gives us now 30. And then finally, we've got now the 18 and the 11. Doesn't give us a full bin, but we, won't, uh, we don't really uh, need it as such to be full. We just need to ensure that we're not going into a fourth. So one, two, three, and four. And quite clearly, the order in which you do these doesn't matter. Two could be one, one could be two. You're just looking at now multiples, or is it, it's not multiples, it's sums that will give us now 30 as frequently as possible and then we simply go ahead and you might want to even look at it now that once you've uh, got the full bins you go ahead and use the uh, first fit uh, method to fill whatever's left. So there we go, we've got now, we've shown that it can be done in four so uh, we can write now done in four and you could say as well, uh, one centimeter waste. Okay, now with the full bins, there are gonna be a range of different solutions that you could do, and that's entirely up to you to have a go at. So if you think that we've got to 10 here, we've got eight and two, we could look at different combinations. But that gives us some idea. So there we go, full bin method, we've got first fit decreasing, and we've got first fit. Often you'll be asked to find this lower bound, but essentially that is what the topic does. You might have to look at some of the costs involved, and we kind of half did that here, looking at the cost, but generally you'll be asked to carry out one of those algorithms.